Yo, what up guys, this is Mosin here with another video for you and um, today I'm going to um, give you guys the long, long overdue add-on video that uh, has been requested by people that watch me um, uh, and I just want to go through my add-ons really quick and I will provide an upload to all of those um, later and I'll try to make it as quick as possible, you know, as compact as, as possible because there's nothing worse than uh, talking seven hours about uh, how to configure an add-on when it's just uh, slash the add-on name. Um, right, so I'll just uh, go through the add-on list, go in-game, show you one or two things. And this is just my personal, um, you know, selection of add-ons. I know there's way more out there and some people uh, will get into it. But this is just what I feel is not too much and uh, works for me. And I thought uh, I'd, ch I'd share it with you because a lot of, usually a lot of times people... Um, you know, ask what, what kind of add-ons this and that and why do you not have this. So, we'll check out the list right here. Um, so the first one, um, let's let's check it out. Bonus Scanner, right? So this one goes hand-in-hand -hand with Lunar Unit Frames. And this um, basically, is, as it says, scans your equipment for uh, cumulative item bonuses and sums them up. It's like a tool to, you know, that makes add-ons being able to, to sum stuff up. CT Mail Mod is what I'd use to, to send my mail. It's pretty cool to have, um, you know, mass mail and all that uh, kind of stuff. Uh, Atlas Loot, Atlas Loot Enhanced, of course. Uh, Atlas Quest, I don't really use the Atlas Quest, it just came with it. But Atlas Loot and Atlas Loot Enhanced are um, pretty good ones. Then we have the attack bar timer, and this one um, really helped me out when uh, you're playing something with like a two-hand weapon. When I was uh, Mortal Strike for a while, if you're playing the Mighty Red Paladin, you know, which is uh, obviously the best DPS class in the game, this is a swing timer essentially. It tells you when the, your next melee attack will go, so basically when you have to judge stuff, um, you uh, go in, you know, directly after the last attack so you don't waste an auto attack with the uh, proc chance. Also very uh, interesting for hunters to not clip your auto attacks. Ox is probably the best, um, for me personally, the best um, auction auction house add-on I'll show you in game. Uh, Bagnon, then we've got uh, Bagnon makes uh, your bags be one thing. There's a bank add-on for that as well. Better character sets, this one's really cool. I highly recommend. I'll show you in-game. BG enemy frames, pretty cool. It's like if you've played Arena, right? It's like uh, you see, you have like a cooler um, uh, layout of the of the classes you're facing. I don't have it enabled at the moment because we're not ranking. Big wigs, okay. If you're raiding, please get big wigs. Don't make your raid leader rage. Um, classic snowfall. Now this one, basically when you were um, casting a spell, you know, this spell actually you know, goes off when you let go of the key. That's the default. Um, and with Snowfall, it goes off when you press the key. And it's going down. So, it's just a small thing. I don't know. Um, then here comes DPS Mate. Uh, you should be familiar with that. I'm using it. E, casting bar. You can use enemy cast bar, but Luna Unit Frames has one implemented, so I recommend that one. Whatever you like better, uh, it's in here. Enchantrix, information about... Um, if it's flashing, you know, figure it out. It was the screen behind me, obviously. There's supposed to be a, an alliance uh, thing. No, I don't know. Um, let's continue. Enchantrix shows you, um, you know, tooltips, what stuff might enchant to. Enhanced tooltip is needed to uh, show more tooltip uh, information. It just usually goes together. Gatherer. Uh, you can, this is good for, you know, when you herb um, something or you get an, get an ore. Um, mine something, um, this will be placed on your minimap and you will keep that location. So if you open your minimap, you'll see uh, where stuff stuff is and you can import other people's data into it. It's a little bit tricky, but if you have someone that knows how to do it, it's pretty cool because you can import their locations and then you can arm them. Improved error frame. This is probably one of the more important ones, right? This one is... Um, Whenever you get an error, it just it doesn't appear in the center of your screen. It just takes it, 
and puts it like on the mini map on the uh, top right corner and bundles them up into a small thing that you can't really see. So this is really uh, needed. Uh, Informant, also like a data uh, type thing. Um, th KLH Threat Meter, also known as KTM. Get this if you're raiding, it shows you the threat and so you don't over aggro the tank right away, um, you know. And as a tank you know if you're doing bad. Lazy Pig. Now I have this enabled here at the moment. I'm not a big fan of it, to be quite honest with you guys, and I know some people can't play without it. Um, it gives you a lot of options, auto dismount, auto accept invites, auto join battlegrounds, but all of these things can also be pretty bad. So, um, you know, and some things conflicted with um, other stuff that I was doing, but it's it's a good add-on. Um, if you configure it the way you, you like it, uh, you can definitely get it, I'd recommend. I just personally don't use it. Um, that much at this moment, you know, sometimes I might go back to it. Lunar unit frames. This is the unit frames I'm I'm using. Um, if you look at my uh, character and my raid frames, uh, this, I don't know, it's, it's very solid. And the best thing about lunar unit frames combined with bonus scanner uh, is the, that you see uh, incoming heals in your raid frames, right? So, you know, okay, there's already a guy casting, um, or four people casting flash heals on this person. I'm healing this one, so you're gonna see if there's any heal incoming, especially also as a healer, of course, this is very much needed, so you don't spam your sh your stuff onto people that are already getting healed. Um, and also as a tank, you can see if there's stuff coming in in the next few seconds or if you should pull the cooldown, right? Very good unit frames would recommend. There's a, a bunch of other options you'll see in a second. Meta map goes together with, um, I have that because of uh, just a cooler map and um, because of vanilla guide when I'm leveling alts. Mod UI is, makes everything clean. Uh, you'll see that my action bars are going on. Um, that they're like stacked on top of each other instead of on the right and everything. I can change the UI color. I'll, I'll show you in a sec. Move anything clear. Um, I just like in case you need to move something. NPC scan, pretty cool for um, world bosses, world boss scouting and for world bus scanning and um, maybe ram ops, right? You want to get lupus, so you uh, type in blah, um, NPC scan lupus, and whenever that NPC will come, it will tell you. And um, one bank, you can use that to have like one window for a bank. Outfitter, very much needed, I think, in vanilla because um, you can make a, right, you know, if you are anything other than a rogue, maybe, right? You want to have um, me as a prot warrior, pro for example, I have my prot gear. And then I want to have my um, DPS gear. So I make a DPS gear, save it, and then with one click, the whole gear set changes, right? Um, or you're a healer, uh, you know, and you have a Nef outfit where you equip other stuff or fire rest gear for tanks. One click, fire rest gear equipped, um, whatever you need. Pally power, this is a working version of Pally power for, um, for this stuff. Uh, for the for the servers and um, this is very much needed if you're a paladin you can see what buffs are not on and so people don't always have to tell you and you don't have to get annoyed our a buffs is a similar tool for everything else if you're raid leading or you want to have a good um view about how you know how things are in the raid situation at the moment and what buffs are missing? Are we missing? Uh, have people who didn't pop flask, who popped flask? Uh, yeah, what buffs are missing basically? You know, you can set a buff that's missing and um, see who doesn't have it. And then you can say, hey, group six needs uh, this and that. Ring menu. This is a really cool one I recently found. Um, I'll show you in game. Really cool. Um, scrolling combat text is what I use for the damage. You can configure it the way you want, so it's like floating left and right with, uh, you know, like a, I don't know, you could do all sorts of stuff with it. I like it, uh, the way, the options that it gives. Um, simple mini map gives you a little bit more options for the map. Stubby is some sort of kind of thing, I don't know. Uh, super macro, very much useful for um, if you're anything I don't know, if you, if you like using macros to get super macro, it allows you to do more things. Super ignore, very much appreciated. Uh, this is a very good add-on. It allows you to put more people on ignore list than you usually could. 
Um, it's it's easy. If somebody's being a douche uh, to you, then remove him from your gaming experience, right? Uh, just ignore him. You can ignore more people, and you used to need this in, on where I played. Theory craft uh, also a very good item uh, add-on that shows you like coefficient um, plus damage and plus heal coefficients of spells and how much mana per you know how much healing per mana spend or how much damage per mana spend crit chances uh, spell damage coefficients etc etc trinket menu uh, yeah a, a fixed version of trinket menu really cool it automatically switches me, uh, trinkets. Um, let's say you have a, a spell damage trinket on use, you use that and um, then it's on a cooldown of two minutes or something. After that, um, the next time you get out of combat, it automatically switches a passive trinket in that gives you flat 22 spell damage or something. Um, so you don't always have to do that. So it switches the on use effect trinket back in whenever it's ready and the next chance it gets, it puts the other one in. URL copy vanilla guide. Good add on for leveling purposes. And auto invite if you are doing a lot of raids and dungeons. We'll uh, jump right into the game. Alright, so here you have a view of how um, all this stuff looks in game, right? So up here on the right corner, um, if you look below the minimap, we have RA buffs. So that's the one I can, you know, if you, if you shift click it, you can already um, uh, report into the raid chat um, group, you know, only cloak missing for certain players, blah, 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 blah. Uh, this buff is missing for certain players. Um, we have the uh, minimap, right? So we can put slash M SMM. And um, then we go, or you can also just right click on your minimap and you have certain a lot of options here right you can modules and skins you can change the skins to uh, you know for example what I like is top right corner you know and now it's like squared here and round here I like that so that's simple minimap um, we got the I wanted to show you the outfitter right so you have here the the sets that you can make DPS fire resistance frost resistance PvP I don't know, nature res, all sorts of stuff. You have it automatically switches in your carrots if you're mounting, if you if you choose to to have that. You can play around with battle and berserker stance and defensive stances if you're a warrior or stances in, in general, but I do that manually, but that's you can change your gear according automatically according to the battlegrounds you're joining. If you're a role player, right, you can have your role playing gear. And every anytime you walk into a town. You can have different gear on. That works. Um, there's a lot of stuff that you can do. It also shows you stuff that you're not using in your inventory. So you can sometimes you're carrying around a lot of stuff, like me here, for example, right? Um, you can use. Uh, you can see here what what's uh, in the bags that you're not really using. That's the outfitter. Then oh yeah, another thing I wanted to show you is better character stats. Better character stats right here in the character window. You can choose, okay, I'm a melee, right, and I'm a tank, so I'm choosing melee and defenses. I can see I have 10k armor, um, that amount of this, uh, you know, defense. I have 18 dodge, parry, block, it shows you exactly what you have. Or spell damage, right, obviously I'm a warrior, I don't have any. Um, the damage, you know, schools, um, how much damage you have per school. Um, then you have uh, ranged stats. Right, hit rating. It shows you the hit rating, which is pretty handy. So yeah, that's um, the uh, better character stats. Then here on the left you have KTM, 1735 uh, proved to be, or has proven to be, um, sorry, um, reliable and worked for us for three years now. I don't know, um, get that version. What's up going on? Sorry. And um, yeah, pretty self-explanatory. You have options here, everything in the window. Easy, you see your threat and the tank's threat. What else is there? Um, we have the Gatherer. Yeah, Gatherer I want to show you. Okay, so you open your map, you go to like here. Ah, oh, okay. Okay, <laughs> since I'm not a Gatherer with this warrior, I don't have the database in, in this account. Right, I have it in, in my Hunter's account. What happens, you open the map of, of this, for example, and okay, there's one or two for some reason. Yeah, I seem to have looted 
two Blood of Heroes. So these two Blood of Heroes that I looted uh, have been marked on the map here. On my Hunter, this whole thing is completely filled with, with Plague Bloom, ores, uh, I think even you know, all, all kinds of stuff. Um, like on Angoro Crater, there's a lot of other stuff marked there as well. You know, Black Lotus spawns, everything here. If you get a good da database, you can you can import that and just in general. Whenever you find something, it gets marked on the map, it stays there, it helps you gathering a lot, like a lot. And yeah, then Atlas Loot, this one is with uh, maps and everything. You can choose here what you want to have. And um, if you just prefer the regular one, this is the, you know, for example, uh, World Bosses, Azura Goss, and then you can see the loot they drop. All right. Typhoon. Skander's Left Claw. <sighs> yes. Uh, it's a loot database, basically. Um, Lunar Unit Frames. This is the options menu. <clears throat> As you can see, a lot of stuff you can change, right? I have the portrait here. You can change this to um, a static uh, portrait so that it doesn't move or whatever. It doesn't take that much space. You can change the bars here from glamour to, I don't know, um, whatever, like this. Then the bar here in the center comes like this or then um, you can get targets of targets, target of target of targets, party and raid. I can uh, show you the config mode, right? This is the config mode and the uh, lead icon right here. And this is how the raid frames look like. So the KTM is of course, uh, you can unpin this and then move it a little bit up. So you, you have the raid frames here, right? You can see if somebody's getting rest, for example, as a healer. So you don't have, you know, two people throwing a rest at the same person. It's not like I've never seen that uh, happen as a healer. And um, right, so, and, but everyone has to have Luna, right? So if all healers get Luna, you have a really good time. Then you can see the income and heals here. Uh, sadly, I'm not a healer at the moment, but if this guy would, would heal me right now, then Right, you can re you, you can put the raid frames in the center if you want. Uh, you know, put it wherever you like. You can display pets, of course, blizzard. You can use some blizzard fr frames, right? Um, you can re-activate uh, the blizzard frame up here if you'd like. Um, the cast bar, you can have the in-game cast bar or your own cast bar. Uh, usually, the cast bar is here uh, in the in the enemy frame, built in. That's pretty cool. So that's Lunar Unit Frames, and as I said, it shows you the incoming heal, so that's very, very good add-on. Would absolutely recommend this. Um, then you have Super Macro, gives you a bit more options. Boom. One thing I needed to show you, right, is this. Oh, and I love this add-on, I don't know why. Basically, you set a key, right, you set a key to open the ring menu. This is ring menu. And then you... Go onto your second action bar on the bottom left, right? You switch to from one to the two, and then you add whatever you want to not have on your normal action bars, like professions. I have, um, for example, here my professions and hourglass sand, cloaks to switch from Nefarian. You bind a key, it opens it up on your mouse cursor, and then you can click stuff. I love this add on, it's awesome. You try out, it's, it's the best. Okay, Big Wigs is a boss mod, right? Um, so. Get that activated. It shows you stuff bosses do, and um, incoming fire on the ground in four seconds. Don't stand in it or dispel this or uh, do this. Right? Pretty self-explanatory, and it's very important. Please, please get big wigs if you are in some sort of competitive guild. So this is Ox, right? Ox is uh, the auction house add-on. Let's let's see. Um, we're looking for arcane crystals, right? So it scans the auction house and you double click this and it has the all the auctions in in a very much compact form. So you can see this guy has three auctions of one stack size, right? So three single ones in here, eight, eight hours left, nine uh, gold um, per bid and the buyout is nine gold 20. And this is, um, the cool thing is this is 66% of the Historical or usual value, okay, um, so this tells you if you see something that's in for 40% you, It's pretty safe to buy it. Of course, you need to um, Scan a little bit, but since it's scanning it every time you're searching something right you'll have a pretty 
good uh, measure of, of how, mu how much stuff is worth. So these are pretty cheap. Putting auctions in, so I have like two dirges kicking chimeric chops in my inventory, so left side um, is your inventory stuff, and then you go into here, they're just kicking chimeric chops. It scans it really quickly, and it shows you, you know, usual um, bid each is 138, buy out each 140. So if I want to match this price, I just click it and click the bid, you know, click the buyout, click the bid, it gets transferred to up here. I, w I can have the stack size, I, if I want my two stack uh, chops into one stack, I could put the stack size to here. If I had 20, I could make a 20 stack. I want single stacks and the stack count is two and all you do is post. Bam, it's in the, it's in, right? And uh, I could go here, for example, Elixir of the Mongoose. Uh, you know, 230, good enough for me, right? It's not like I'm playing here anymore. So 230 and bid, it should be 211. Um, one stack size, you know, single ones, put them in, post. So that's aux, and you, of course, auctions are listed here, bids are listed here. By the way, you can also filter stuff, right? Uh, choosing for, for certain stuff, and save searches in case you're trading a lot. I don't know, I've never done this, but yeah. If you find yourself lost, click Blizzard UI, and um, sometimes you use this. Maybe one thing we can look into again uh, before I forget is um, the theory craft add-on, right? So um, I switch over for the uh, to the Pally for this. Uh, you can see the gear is pretty, pretty good, and um, if you now go into slash TC, you can um, and check whatever is needed for you here. Right? Since I'm a healer, I have like you know add add heal and final plus damage for my holy shock and all that kind of stuff. Um, so you can configure whatever you need here, you can configure the bonus text, uh, you can see vitals here too, like how much hit you have, holy crit chance, you know, special crit chances, your fire mage or whatever. And uh, then you can scroll over your abilities and you'll see here on the, if I scroll over this, right, it says flash of light, uh, plus heal coefficient is 42.9%. Okay, so that means 42.9% of my uh, add heal goes onto this this rank, uh, this this uh, spell, and even for Pelly, for example, you can find out now that um, even rank one has the same coefficient, right, as the the high rank. So that makes rank one especially interesting because it costs less mana but has the same efficient um, coefficient. So you can find out stuff like this, and you can also see how much um, this uh, flash shield usually heals for three hundred ninety, with nothing on. So four hundred, three hundred ninety three. Right, so that works out. 720 for the normal flash heal. This one crit, okay. Um, 723, pretty accurate. You can see how much your spells do, like the exorcism here, uh, all sorts of things. Then the NPC scan, yes. Um, let's say I'm scouting Zurigos here, yeah, this is the spirit. Uh, so I uh, type uh, slash NPC scan Azurigos. Now I added as the mob Azurigos to the list of whenever I get near it, um, that it gets, uh, I'm getting a, a warning, right? Let's say I would pass here farming herbs and I wouldn't look to the left, but I rode past Azurigos, right? It would be nice to, to, to see that, um, of course, and, and let my guild know. Uh, I typed in Azurigos. This is not going to work because it's the spirit of Azurigos, right? So if I was looking for this one, I type in slash NPC scan, spirit of Azuregos. And then what happens is this, since I'm near it, right? That's pretty, you, you can't overhear this. So Spirit of Azuregos NPC found. Also good if you're looking for Lupus or Broken Tooth. I like it because I like uh, rare hunting too. Um, and you can dismiss this. And then you can, if you want to put stuff off the list again, you type the same thing again now. Okay, usually, um, you know, if you type the same thing, he's off the list. Thank you very much. Um, mod UI is what makes everything, you know, makes these uh, action bars uh, stacked on top of each other. I haven't been on this character for a while. And um, you can, um, I got this from Frostradamus, actually. Um, I don't know if he made this add-on, but, you know, probably, maybe. 
Uh, I, I'm very much not sure. I, I'm not an add-on guy. I'm just telling you what I'm using and how, what works for me. You can change the UI color, so you can make this black and clean, right? Black and clean if you like it. You can make it blue if you like it, right? You can make it pink if you like that. I'm a paladin, so I'm going to leave this to pink. Right, so, you know. Different action bars, you can readjust these rows however you like them. You can turn on and off whatever you like and what you don't like. You can configure whatever the hell you like in here, okay? So, um, that's that's this. Also, it has these um, kind of cool nameplates. So, I'm attacking this uh, Thunderhead Patriarch with my insane red DPS. A holy DPS, even. The other thing I can show you is uh, scrolling combat text. Um, right, this is in the options menu now. I'm whacking this moss move cursor. Cursor? I don't know. And um, you can... There's a lot of stuff you can do, like whenever you're gaining an aura, for example. Um, you know, it's a frame one. It says here, obviously. And you can go like this. Alternating or damage to the left. Um, I don't know. It's whatever you like most, basically. And have uh, I like this kind of that stuff comes out right like the damage you take and stuff uh, then you have frame two that's this year uh, what does this do I don't know alternating is pretty cool too um, then the messages like leaving combat entering combat um, you know you gain aura of whatever uh, a lot of things you can frame options what I really like is this you know for example that um, you can see this that the uh, that the damage I'm doing is popping up, you know. You can have sticky crits whenever you... Let's, let's make a crit here. Sticky crits is stay for a second. Boom. Stays. And tells you what it was. And my damage is alternating in a rainbow kind of thing. And you can put in that you see the consecration damage. I don't know if I have this in... Yeah, I have the periodic damages enabled. You can disable this. Then again, Pelly Power is one of the uh, add-ons that every Paladin should really have. Um, Basically, what you can do is you, is you can uh, adjust single buffs to everybody here, right? And um, if there were other paladins in my raid right now, uh, I could, if I had an A and the raid, you need an A or be the leader. You can assign the person, you know, okay, you're going to do wisdom, then the other person, you're going to do might, etc., etc. You can also see what the people have specced into, blessing of wisdom, uh, you know, I have it improved in the talents, two points additional. I have no improved might at the moment. I have kings, right, and uh, that's that's basically that. And uh, you can, if someone has sanctuary, you, you can see it here. And um, a shift, click, and you can assign the paladins buffs and always keep them up to date. You can also switch a little bit around and mix. Okay, the last two things, uh, maybe to show you what it really does. This is the uh, queued errors from the improved error frame add-on. Uh, this is what have, would have popped up in the center of my screen and made a stupid sound, right? So it just gets stored up here and then you can open it once and delete it. Uh, the snowfall add-on, I'm pressing the key and it instantly casts. casts. I'm not I'm not letting the key down at the moment, right? I'm not letting the uh, uh, I'm not letting the key go. That's what I mean. Jesus. Um that's when it's cast. And usually what happens is you put it you put the finger on and once you let go, then it casts. It's a very simple uh, you know small thing and whether you need this or not is entirely up to you. And um, also you can see here the incoming heal, Luna unit frames. Now we're taking some damage right here on the left in the raid frames. You click your target and now you can see the incoming heals. Right, the holy light, this one. You can see the incoming heals and then boom, you can see it here on the left. And that is basically it. If you have any questions you know, regarding add-ons, uh, whatever you when it comes to your mind, put it in the comments. I'll gladly answer it. I do read the comments, of course. And um, yeah, I hope this helped you. As I said, this is just my personal um, collection of add-ons. Some things I don't like. I don't like to move my buffs away from up here, right? I like to have my stuff in here. You can do that however you like. Um, this is just my personal uh, collection. I hope it helped you a little bit. The uh, download link is provided in the description. And um, yeah, add uh, whatever you like. Um, add-ons are a big thing. And... Um, you know, customize it the way you like. And uh, thank you very much for watching. Hope it helped. If it did, maybe like or check by the stream, you know. And I'll see you next time. Thank you very much.